G'day mates, and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. Now, nothing special for this series as far as I'm aware, because uh, I'm a little bit fucking busy at the moment with exams uh, for the next few weeks, but we'll be keeping up with Warband and uh, Hearts of Iron, and soon they'll be over, and I'll be free to put out uh, a little video I'm working on that I think will be quite funny. But I was thinking last time when we were playing uh, the Triad Syndicate, rest in peace, actually are they still around? Are they, uh, oh, they're still around here. Oh, oh, my waifu. Right, um, we are playing them last time and having a grand old time. We got a little bit stuck, but I was a little unfortunate. Wait, why is this? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, I forget, wait, has this changed? I seem to recall them, there was actually a, yeah, why the fuck are the Netherlands actually got direct control? Why have they assumed direct control? Because last time it was the Dutch East Indies, or do they have to, like, release the Dutch, Inst uh, Dutch East Indies? That's a little funky. Anyway, so last time, Dutch, uh, Deutsch, Dutch, can't remember, it's Deutsch, but, uh, Middle Africa, exploded. And I found that fucking hilarious, thinking, what flag was that? The Congo, right. And that was amazing, watching it explode, and I was tempted to play them, but then I went a little north and saw that Somalia has a focus tree. And it's actually kinda neat. <laughs> Here we go, so we've got Somalia. The uh, main choices we have are arming local militias or a unified army. Arming local militias looks way better. Uh, then we have the choice of obviously going down the uh, more fascist, cracking down on powerful clans, unity to strength, you know, kingdom, yada yada, a referendum. And then uh, on the other path is a, weirdly enough, it's a German, uh, German democratic system that you go down, which I kind of like. It's like... You're going down a democratic system of the people who you wouldn't think to be all the happy, happy Democrats. But yeah, you do. Um, and then you can go down, you can put down the lion. I was going to play Abyssinia, but I've already played Abyssinia. Like, Abyssinia, Ethiopia is actually a really fun nation. I've played them multiple times. Um, and I think I've already played them as part of this, because I remember taxing slave owners. But I, it might have been like a stream or whatever. Anyway, let's get stuck in. Uh, so we're going to, hang on, we're going to get economic development first, because I know Black Monday is going to strike. It always bloody does. Oh, we've got no, uh, we've, uh, where are you? we've got, we've got no equipment at all, do we? Not even fucking slightly. Oh, God, for those of you guys who don't know, there was a, uh, new dev diary update, which is basically how the, um, oh, wow, we actually have some pretty cool lads. Kind of unfortunate you're that way. I, uh, Desert Fox, I mean, honestly, that's, that's the best lad. Yeah, let's get the Desert Fox in. I love your name. It's so big, it goes well off the screen. Good job. Anyway. Oh, shit, we've got a little... Bits missing. All right. Um, no, no. So the new Dev Diary, which is how the uh, the devs basically release information about the new DLCs and the free updates, uh, has talked about how you can now assign air units to armies, and you can assign uh, what do you call it? Uh, transports to drop supplies, so you can recreate Stalingrad. Uh, it should be good fun. Let's just get those built, and then we'll build some uh, industry. Sorry, some infrastructure after. Cool. We're going to want to go straight... Oh, we're going to want weapons one first, because it's bloody essential. But uh, we're going to want to go down these lines and get our industry up and running. Resource-wise, what do we need? Steel... Ah, we'll skip out on both those. Let's get going. But yes, there's a bunch... Oh, shit. Hello, hello, hello. Didn't realize we got this. <coughs> United we stand. Somalia's multiple states were easy prey to colonialists. Divided, we fell. But then, in the Weltkrieg, the long struggle of Abullah Hassan called mad by our enemies, ended in victory, and after a string of victories here and in Europe, Italy completely withdrew from Somalia, and the Sultan of Wa Sangali de facto slipped from British authority, who was too busy fighting Germany around the world. The peace with honour did mean Somalia was free, but paradoxically, still a protectorate of Britain due to al Shear's treaties, a status quo which seemed to benefit both parties. After British collapse, while Sangali's forces seized what was left of British Somalia land, and the lords who were allied with him in a loose fashion proclaimed him Emperor, or Bokur, of Somalia. However, he styled himself after the King in the West, papped an attempt to court the emperors of the Central Powers, and placed himself below the Caliph, whose primacy and aid uh, is thoroughly recognised. Prosperity followed, even after the French flew, our fields grew rich and our cities larger, and our control over Ogaden is absolute. Little Abyssinia can do little con to contest uh, it, for, uh, it for now, rather. The roads, universities, and books are all symptoms of Somali Renaissance. But the great danger might be ahead, for wise no good times don't last forever. Hali uh, Selassie, 
eyes us enviously. Middle Africa's new manager seems to be rather unapproachable uh, diplomatically. Whatever the future holds, we know that we seize this opportunity. And together, we are leading Somalia to a bright future. Somalia stands on the shoulders of giants. IN THE SHOULDERS OF GIANTS?! WHAT THE FUCK, SOMALIA?! Don't dig fucking footholes in giants' shoulders, they don't like that, it's a bit rude. Jeez, that was one hell of a read. I, won't, I think I got most of the names somewhat correct. Ah, no, the President Kerensky, why do you always have to die? Why, why did they have to kill you, Kerensky? I think, uh, I've actually never played the Soviet Union here. It'd be kind of fun. Well, I mean, they're not Soviet Union, are they? The Russian Republic. Um, the tree does seem a little bonkers. Slightly broke. <laughs> You're not allowed to do this yet, says the, uh, bloody focus tree. I'm sorry, Jim. Um, yeah, no, they're alright. But let's head back over here. So, Black Monday, yep, there we go. So I'm assuming in a moment we're gonna get, yep, here we go. Oh, the ever-great war of Afghanistan versus, uh, India. So it's travelers, uh, it's bloody Frenchies. Um, we've been hit by it, and... The economy's taking a downturn. That's actually really bad. Wow, holy shit. Oh, we're gonna get uh, destabilized and shit too. We have the Iron Fist of Wa Sangali, which is, uh... Hmm... Not great. I want my political power, please. Especially in this mod. I do like Kaiser Rack's uh, political power system. It certainly gives it a lot more... Oh, for fuck's sake, low stability. There we go. But uh, I think we'll hit up strength in government next. Oh no, Pius the Sixth, I think that was. No... Do love the, uh... Love how it's basically the Pope versus the Communists. It's quite nice over here. Been a good old while. But I'm wondering who I'm going to attack first, because honestly... Um, that's oh, Romania's remilitarizing. I'd like to go for Absinia. Uh, we should probably just get rid of that before going down. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Oh, God, it's going to take another minus 100. Yeah, let's do it. Um, and then we'll bump up our political power and actually recover. But anyway, no, I was going to say, I like bloody, uh... The focus tree eventually puts us at war with them. So we go down here, put down the line, but that's a long way away, like, my god. wonder if I can declare war a little earlier. I don't think you generally can, because they, uh, they don't, they super, yeah, they super restrict in this mod. Oh well. I turned off, uh, the faction joining, oh wait, no, I haven't turned off the faction joining limits, which I kind of need to do that. And what's this? Who's the trade union, uh, of Britain? Trade union congress? Who is this, Philip Snowden? I'm trying to see, he's a Welsh poet and the leader of the Autonomists. Oh my god. Fair enough. C c are they going to release Wales? Please tell me they do. That's kind of great. What a poet. What a fucking poet. Can they actually release? I think they can, can't they? The Red Menace. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Mongolia. The best in this fucking mod. I'm trying to see, because they can release them, maybe they can release them through through uh, events, because I know that, like, by the end of the game, there's a million puppet states by the syndicalists if they win. Maybe Dominion Vinny will actually win. No, they won't. They're just going to take a little bit more land, as always. The Arab Congre uh, Congress. Let's have a look. They started forming the actual thing? Uh, no. Hey, the Palpal Conclave. What's this? Pope Pius the Seventh. Excellent. I'm glad we went from Pius Six to Pius Seven. Couldn't have, couldn't have done with anything else. Jesus, fuck. Radio. Okay, here's the question. Do we just rush down and murder... Um, oh, God, this is some good benefits. I kind of want to put the lion down. We're going to go put the lion down. Because we can always do political power later. Although, I mean, doing political power now would be neat. But it's not really going to save us because we're still going to drop to the next level. Let's do it. Let's get building. Let's go to war. All right. So, we're going to want to grab some of the uh, reaction things. It's been a while since I just played up a straight up, uh, it's called straight up game of Hearts of Iron, I realized. I've played a mod for everything probably since like last year. I haven't played a vanilla game in a while. Bloody hell. Ah, Madras. Should play as Madras sometime. Have they got a focus tree? Not even slightly. I'm kind of sad. They have a, f there's a few random ones with focus trees. I want to find them. The old Austin, these guys don't have a focus tree yet, do they? No, which makes me super sad because they would have a super interesting one. A lot of Asia actually lacks focus trees. The the Kun Empire has one. Location cities, of course, have got one. Um, Mongolia's pretty good. I think you guys in the south don't have one. No, but there's there's one that is it like no? I, wow, it really is a oh the Feng Tang government. They they've got the other one. They've got the really weird one with like the super big uh, central line. 
Man, that's kind of cool. I want to. Oh my god, I want to just play so much more. I haven't actually checked my manpower yet. Yeah, we've got seventeen thousand, which is not doing great, but it's not terrible. I mean, I can make probably one more division out of that. What are my division? Oh god, yeah, I'll need to check what my divisions are even like. So, good. Cool. Let's uh, let's get designing. I'll actually hold off on getting motorized because there's a fifty percent motorized minus thing down the tree. Okay, the militia. Oh, okay, they're pretty big then. That's not too bad. We're definitely going to train up our militia to normal lads. So, oh, we got boats, really? Holy shit! I was not expecting that. Fair enough. Poland elects a new king. Oh shit, so that's what... Poland's super cool. Poland can go so many paths in this. Who's your king? I'm just going to call him JM, <laughs> JKM. Watch out for a bullet, yeah? Um, Jesus, he's, that's, a, that's one hell of a full name. Fair enough. Okay. Um, let's go... What are we bloody doing? Foreign production methods. Whoa! Oh wait, that's only 3%. <laughs> for a moment, I read that as 30%, but that's just a slight buff, I guess. Okay, sure. Bloody hell. Um, no, no, let's bloody outfit our lads, shall we? So you lot, you two. I like that Kaiserak gives you these bonuses, but there's just no reason to use militia unless you have... Like, a low manpower state should always have the best troops possible. Uh, it's only probably China... Oh, even then, there was something I was trying to remember. So, how many uh, how many guns do you use? You use 450 infantry equipment, right? And 9,000 manpower. This is just 9... I guess the training time is halved and the equipment's halved. Yeah. But what's like the... Uh, the HP is a bit lower. The soft attack is significantly lower. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would work for like China and stuff. That's the only time you ever want militias. Or maybe if you're like desperately being invaded like as America or something. Because even then, you've, you've still got the manpower to use it. Uh, let's go. Oh, do we want to go? I don't really. I kind of want to get tanks. I want to get Somalis rolling around in tanks. It's be kind of great. But uh, oh, of course I got a navy. What I'm doing? Oh, this this is not this name will not do. I do like the Somali in the name, so we're gonna call these boys the Somali Pyretes. Pyretes, no Pyretes. That is, that is no Piratetes. Perfect. We're the Somali Piratetes. Perfect. I'm pretty sure that's someone racist. Um, let's get working. So, God, I just, always one part of me just wants to just attack the fucking German Empire and just take these fucking things. But I know if I do that, this bastard's gonna come after me. Wait, you're not in the fa oh, you're a puppet, right? Never mind. Etria revolts. Whoa, whoa, whoa what the shit? Uh, hang on a second. Whoa, what the shit? Really? <laughs> Ethiopia's only gain, uh, gain in the Velt Creek, the prized coastal possession of Etria, is now an open revolt. Disgruntled by oppression, disrespect, and overtaxation, the oppressed Muslim and Christian forces of the nation have rallied under one flag and wish to free their country. The Emperor of Abyssinia has already reacted with outrage, and the Etrian War of Independence has begun. As all pieces are set on the table, the region watches it closely. Will Somalia take the opportunity to take her eye? <laughs> and its other claims on the empire. Will Abyssinia manage to keep its only coastal port? Will the bravery of the outrageous rebels prevail? Please give me like a, like a fucking option. Here's the thing is, I don't want either of them to win. No, sorry, I want Abyssinia to win, and then I want to beat Abyssinia myself, rather. That'll be the best way to do it, probably. Abyssinia has a focus tree, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Weird. Prepare for war. We're like a few focuses off actually going to war. What? 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 No. I'm trying to see if there's actually. I guess it's just a, a chance then, isn't it? Come on. Come on. Give it to me, baby. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Give me the option. Let's see the uh, numbers wise. Four to six. Ah, oh, well, yeah. You've got no military factories. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Our ideology has grown. Um, I mean, no, I'd rather political power right now. Or will, is this going to pop us up the next level? Medium to high? What's high? 1680. Let's not do that. No need. Good. Efforts being messed by Western standards. What have we still got here? Walking Sali. It's outside deep German Ottomans. Yep, yep, yep. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god, they're actually... Are they going to avoid the civil war again? You're kidding me. Mr. Charles Curtis is in power. I'm gonna, I'm impressed if he, uh, actually, if the civil war goes on. Because that'd be kind of interesting. United States is one of the most developed thing. I think probably next to maybe like... No, I'd almost say the United States is one of the more um, developed countries in this game because 
even the uh, German Empire is still like a folk history thing. The, uh, there's a lot of events that are really important in, uh, what do you call it? God, I don't want any of these. Give me that. Uh, in the bloody Americans. In the Americans. In the Americans! Ah, yes. In all Americans, there are a few events important in their lives. The first is puberty. The second is getting fired from their job and becoming a homeless alcoholic. Oh, it's adorable. Etri is doing the spirit of freedom. Wonder how long that's gonna last. Like, like seriously, please, Obsidian, just take the fucking state so I don't have to fucking take it. God fucking. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. Shit. This is way further down than I thought. Shit. <laughs> we have to go down this line. Do we? Hang on. Yes, we have to go down this line and one of these lines. Shit. <laughs> Back to strengthening the government, I go. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh no. That was a mistake. Let's get some radio. Okay. Well, what? Hang on a second. National syndicalists achieve Italian majority. Oh, is this, um... Oh, these ones, right. That is one hell of a bitch. And Mussolini, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Mussolini's here. Oh, my God. That's great. Hang on. Let me look at that in a second. Oh, man. Man, Mr. Curtis, how could you... Oh my god, the Triad Syndicate! It's Dragonhead Young Jinrong! Yes! Oh my god, they're going down the sex slave line, you brave bastards! I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Oh my god, hang on. This is the best timeline. Yes! Yes, it's excellent! Oh my god, too bad there's like nothing that actually declares war or anything, I don't think. Just kinda sad. Man. Mine. Mine. So they're not really going to do much, are they? Anyway, back over to, uh... Oh my god, New England's gone free. The New England Coast Guard's being formed. Poor Charles Curtis. Oh, oh my god. Yep, the Mexicans have gobbled up some states. How's Panama doing? Taken by Canada. Of course it is. How's the up taken by Canada? Of course it is. Wow, the United States got fucked in this run. Holy shit. Have you guys not captured that yet? Um... What were we bloody doing? We're doing something, weren't we? Um, Jesus Christ. Serbia crowns King Alexander II. Okay, fair enough. Why, well, that's alright, innit? You guys... Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go political peace, maybe? Oh, oh, God, there's so much research stuff down here. I really want this. Man, that's so good. But at the same time, we can go down here and get rid of all our political power stuff and get really good political power. Let's go down this line first because it gives me research slots. Actually, let's go to this point to get rid of the Iron Fist and then we'll go down and get the research slot. Anyway, I was going to say, Mussolini, here we go. Hey, average stability. Dominican Republic. Mussolini, what do you do? You're a warmonger. Well, that's a little sad. Um, National syndicalist. Mussolini gets heavy industry, secret police, prepares for war. They do one of whatever and they suppress the Catholics or they, uh, you know... To stabilize the north. Hey, there we go. Obsidian's back as one. Obsidian, up. Can we uh, just hold off for a bit and we'll, uh, we'll go to war, yeah? I uh, hope you don't mind none. No need to be concerned. Just going to be a quick in and out and uh, you'll submit to my rule. Oh shit, Ukraine's gone syndicalist? What? What? Aren't you a puppet of... Uh, oh no, you're in the, in the middle of Europe usually, aren't you? Well, no, they're not actually. Weird. God, there's a lot of early wars. The Turkish Khanate declares war on the Alish Order. Um, wait. Wait, hang on a second. Turkish Oh, it's this. Wow, they're going to war? Normally I see Russia reading them up. Holy shit. Okay. Fair enough. Have your little battle, would ya? Now comes the question of what I actually want to research. There's so much shit, but I don't really want to get any of it. Well, I guess I just get construction. Sure. How's that construction's efforts go? Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's not doing good, is it? It's not doing good. It's not okay. Second International. Perfect. How many uh, factories have you got, my boy? You know, Baltic Dutchery. Uh, Dutchery? Yes, the Dutchery. You've got two. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're not even worth invading. 
Uh God. Man, okay, right. Uh, declare war on the kingdom of Estonia. God, what is with all these wars? Declare war on the kingdom of, uh, on Latvia, rather. Oh, wait, no, because you're just rebelling, aren't you? Or oh, no, wait, no, they rebelled against him. Right, of course. They're going to be shut down pretty quick. Unless Lithuania's going to rebel too. No? No? Okay. Okay, you uh, you stay like you are. Considering doing some uh, EU4 pretty soon. Because I've been playing that, and now I'm getting sucked into it, and I really fucking enjoy EU4. Oh, you guys are Spanish of War. My god. Like, oh, there's a throne special. There's just a whole lot more shit going on really early. It's 1937. It's... Oh, my God. Hang on. Let me just bloody... What do we want? What do we even want here? Why are we even here? Just to suffer. Every night. God. Um, okay, so they're going... So, let's see. We've got the Belgrade Pact, don't we? Why are you also black? What? Oh, because Serbia made it. Okay. Nice hat, yo. So they got the Belgrade Pact, who's about to basically fuck up Bulgaria. Middle Europa, oh shit, the Roman question salt, what's this? Uh, oh, oh, that's uh, the Swiss government, right, shit. Um, oh my god, the United, oh no, wait, no, no, <laughs> I thought Estonia had won for a moment, no, no, no. Okay, so Latvia's gonna fall next, that's fine. Uh, we've got obviously the Spanish Civil War, the American Civil War, which is not doing great, we'll be honest. Looks like America's about to get, well, the United States at least is gonna get right fucked. Uh, god, what do we want? More artillery. There's nothing here. I guess I don't want to. I don't do the motorized research yet. So let's just get recon companies, shall we? God damn. All right, fair enough. I think South America is the only peaceful place right now. Oh, the Peru Bolivian Confederation. That's pretty. Oh my god, I forgot this man's hat. It's amazing. The fucking hats in this game. It's great. Foreign know-how. Yeah, this is pretty pharaoh. The Knights of Peru. That's great. Oh, man. Okay, right. Cool. Let's go check back over on here. You haven't shut it yet. There's still no one I can really invade apart from Absinia. And the uh, world tension isn't high enough to call in a little invasion just yet. So... Shit. God, we can't even navally invade anyone, can we? Because all the islands are German. The Empire... Uh, the Germany? The Germany Empire? The Germany! We could invade Oman or Yemen, I guess. But, uh, yeah, still no war goal thing. Nice hat, though. The Mysore declared war on, uh... Who's the Mysore again? Prince of Federation? Oh, these lads. Oh, that's right, the, uh... Little rebellion they have. Dude! Nice hat. The Travancore State. The Michael State. Madras. Oh, Madras got a little bit fucking bigger. Holy shit. Alright, now we can go United and Will, but I think I'd rather go Political Peace and go down here and grab this stuff. Just keep rolling, lads. We've got this. God, it's giving me a lot of focus and, like commentating the world. I'm sad we don't get straight to war. Um, tell you what. Tell you what. I might skip out on the next little bit, and I, uh... Yeah, I think I'll do it. I think I'll, uh, I'll skip up until I'm ready for war. Just because I think it's gonna be a lot of focuses for now. There's not be too much happening in the country. Apart from, you know, Dutch Middle Africa <laughs> declaring war on Portugal, apparently. Holy shit. Right, Dutch Middle Africa. Watch yourself. I forgot about this. The little fucking path right here. There we go. So Latvia's gone, and uh, looks like the Prince of uh, Confederation, sorry, Federation rather, not Confederation, is about to fall. And we'll be back once my focus is ready. I'll, uh, I'll cut in if there's anything important, of course, but uh, let's go fight someone, shall we? Well, shit. Okay. So India's a little bit reformed, but Bharatiya, Baha Baha the Tiara Communion, has... Uh, Expanded into the Princely Confederation. Mysore State's gotten an actual proper fucking thing now, and it's pretty big. You guys don't have any uh, focus trees, though, do you? No. Uh, oh, oh, Gandhi! Gandhi! <laughs> Hang on. Oh, fuck. Uh, I thought that said AI modifier focus on offense plus 75%. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, Gandhi. I thought you'd been a warmonger. But no, Gandhi's just claimed some fucking land. Holy shit. It means it's basically going to be India versus uh, Gandhi, which will be quite fun to watch. Holy shit. Oh shit, Hassan in the history books. Here we go, let's actually uh, read this up. Let's just grab that real quick. Okay. Whoa. Uh, Muhammad Ab uh, Abdul Hassan, or the Mad Mullah, as he's known abroad, led the war against Britain and Italy. Oh, you mean led the war uh, during the Volt Krieg? ensured our freedom for generations to come. 
However, the man was averted to personal representations, as his face was iron uh, an I uh, iron uh, iconoclast or whatever. Oh, I don't know how the fuck do you say that word? Iconoclast. And believed photos would uh, steal his soul and trap it, or so the saying goes. The fact is, we have no idea how he looks besides second-hand accounts. How will our histories portray him? Allow representations of him. Our young need heroes. Uh, let us craft an Im image, idolized and brave, standing for many walls and not his old age. We respect the man's faith and personal wishes. Warriors do not read books anyhow. Oh, doesn't matter. Ah, uh, the world needs heroes. <laughs> All right, let's get rolling. So, a quick update on America. And apparently Serbia. Uh, the American Union States seems to be succeeding. MacArthur's taken over the remains of the United States. And, well, Jack Reed's kind of sad. Poor lad. Uh, oh my god, how did this happen? Well, apparently this uh, sort of happened when I was looking the other way. And now the Belgrade Pact's at war with uh, the Dan Danubian? Dan 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 Buda dude Federation. Also, Carla Spain is kicking the CNT FAA's ass. FAI's ass, rather. And I'm still doing jack shit. So this is fun. The Empire of Japan has just declared war on the German Empire and the Qing Empire. Or Qing Empire, rather. Uh, why is this? You don't even border with either. Wait, no, you're the puppet, aren't you? Yep, okay, there we go. Oh yeah, the autonomous dependency. Why the German Empire, though? Just gonna put it out there that you might have fucked up. Oh my god, they're going down the... Not all factions within this, uh... Within government support this path, and some are very powerful. Oh my. Is this like going back down the sa samurai path? Because that's kind of neat. That's kind of very neat. I don't quite know, though. Oh my god. Fair enough. Where's your actual, like, declare war shit buttons? The rising sun, maybe? Bring down the German Goliath. The Great Railway Incident? I guess, yeah, 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 we go, the War with Queen. I guess they've done that. God, that's short, fucking... Their focus tree is super, like, uh, all the days, like, 14, 35, 35, 35, 70? Yeah, fair, eh? Fucking A. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I was just looking at the wars. And then, of course, I read the American-American War, the second American-American War, the third American-American War. I wish all civil wars were referred to like that. Ah, yes. Do you remember the great Spanish, Spanish, Spanish war? How about... A <laughs> I mean, actually, technically, hang on, which Spanish war is still on? Um, ah, oh, man, they actually use proper names for this. They use the anarcho-syndicalist Carlist war. Man. Man. That's sad. I'd hope we just get the Spanish, Spanish war. <laughs> the Danubian Federation just beat the Belgrade Pact, and now they've got a puppet uh, of Serbia. A puppet of Romania, nothing with Bulgaria, and a peace with Greece. F who is still in the Belgrade Pact, apparently. Hot damn. Alright, fair enough. Uh oh, I think American Union State is about to win. Are they? Oh, the communists are giving them what for? Alright. And actually, we're about to go get the fucking war deck button. Yes! Oh, you go fuck yourself, game. We we can now declare war manually. Just gonna. You're in the middle, Europa. All right, Aman. Okay, okay. All right, Aman. You've been you've been a right prick to me so far. It's time I declared war on you, and you had a uh, taste of your own uh, medicine, so to speak. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Just gonna leave my boys by the port to plan the war. It's all very good. And uh, we're gonna go punch some Ethiopians in the face and take their shit. And then we'll go and take your shit too. I'm glad to see I do actually have the naval invasion tech. I would have said it would be very unrealistic for Somalia not to have the coastal raiding technique of uh, jumping into a nation via pirate ships. Uh, it would uh, not fit the uh, theme that uh, you may be trying to portray as a country. I'm currently researching Mountaineers uh, for when I have army experience to change all my men into Mountaineers instead of childish fantasy, okay. Uh, however, currently, I'd like to actually change them to using uh, artillery instead, which would uh, certainly make the situation a lot better 
for killing my enemies and uh, decimating their women, or I believe that's how the quote goes. It's obviously not. I am making a humorous statement. I'm going to stop talking like this because it actually hurts my jaw to do this. It's really fucking weird. I'm going to go now, and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, we are ready to go to war with Aman. Let's, uh... Oh, thank God, the bomb. my destroyers do reach. Uh, okay, they're ready. Cool, my boy's about to get into position. Aman, how's things? Declare war. Let us go. Okay. Boys are on position. Oh, we don't have enough convoys, do we? Oh, oh, we do. Oh, thank God we do. I don't actually have any naval dockyards, which I should really probably build at least one of, which I will do now. Um, yeah, excellent. Oh, we got what perfect fucking timing. We just got put down the lion. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. God, we really need to get, uh, we really need to turn all our lads to, uh, mountaineers because I've got an awesome general who, uh, who gives special forces bonuses, but we can't do that just yet until we get all that generally, uh, until we get enough army experience. Come on, you bastards. Push through. Ah, yes, the Great War of Tibet and Bhutan. I forget this happens. Sweet Jesus. Wait, is that Road to 56? I think it's Road to 56 that happens in normally. I'm just currently mocking a completely different mod. I kind of want to get more, but uh, do I really want to go down? Let's go do, let's go do the elections call. We're going to do so much shit in the end of this episode. I was kind of saving that for the next episode and I want to get some more political power, but fuck it. Let's do it. I don't like having that little button sitting there saying, you could choose political fucking focus, focus things. Not political fucking, Jesus Christ. Landed. There we go. Give me your country. Beautiful. Take all states. Lovely. Done. All right, lads. Uh, can we all get back on the border with Addis Ababa? Ababa. Cool. Beautiful. Badan's gone. After a long fight with the Amani, we've launched a full offensive and forced their army to surrender. There was one division in their capital, and that was it. Why would we ever liberate it? Continue with the military occupation! Actually, what is in here? I mean, it's got some oil, though. And 300... Yeah, I'm not really going to be able to, like, harvest it for enough, uh, blue, uh, for enough bloody manpower. So, military occupation it is. Beautiful. Let's get more guns. Finally, we can uh, build convoys. Holy shit, we actually have a lot of naval tech researched. All right, well, we'll want to invest in destroyers when the time comes to it. The Somali Pyretiates. Forget about those lads. Um, we can now give our guys the next bit of artillery. And oh, we just need you guys to... Okay, just like one day at war and then we'll give you field hospitals, we promise. Okay, you guys actually uh, back to being... No, okay, let's, let's grab you lads. You boys return home. Go have a good nap, good stuff. Get in line now. Form a queue. What's this one? The slavery question. How about don't? Um. Alrighty then. Oh, we can claim states. Alright, whatever. Annex. Oh boy. Oh, we are getting pushed back. Oh, we should not have been attacking. We should not have been attacking. Lads. Cat tax? What? All men to stations. What the fucking shit? What the fucking shit? Okay, first of all, cat tax is a staple of life in Somalia. Men can be seen chewing its leaves. Oh, I thought this was just a weird name for cats. Should we make money off of it? Or should we... Okay, either we just get... Um, let's just tax and export it. Um, a group of young, educated women and their husbands have organized themselves in a brigade to fight for Somalia against the German puppets. Holy shit, okay. All men to stations. Volunteer and reserve units have gathered for our war against Obsidian. None shall stand in the path of... Oh my god. That's neat, isn't it? We, we just got some, 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 some divisions, didn't we? Oh my god, we actually got a fair few. Join the war, men! I'm just going to call this boy the uh, the Husbando army. Actually, no, wait. We're going to call this the married couples. Perfect. Uh, now we have the problem of... Wait, I have air wings, really? Holy shit, I have air wings! When do I have air wings? Give me those fucking air wings! I guess I should probably put at least one point to fighters now. Uh, so let's do exactly that. Okay, now you're not meant to hold here. This is just fucking desert. No, it's actually open field, but still. Um, can you just try and distract him? You actually get into here to hold this position. You get down and help him. You get down and help him. Off we go. Okay. Is this actually going to be a harder wall than I thought? Um, can we not just get you lights into the fucking mountains already? There we go. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay, hold off, hold off. 
We need to kill these lads now. Okay, they're retreating. Good, good, good. Um, hang on a second. You lads are actually... Uh, you know, uh, hang on. Hold on now. Hold on. Damn em. Fuck. Hang on. Why? They've, they've just abandoned here. So, can we go for their capital? If we just hold them here. Pull one lad back. Roll around this way. Oh, the encirclement begins. It begins. No. Now it ends. Whoa, what the shit? The French... Re oh, right, right. I forgot the French Republic is actually a thing. I thought there was a rebellion going on. Whoops. Commune of French declares war. Oh, whoa, okay. So the Entente and the Middle Europa against uh, bloody the Third International right now. What a fucking war. I think, I'd like to think that Somalia rising up kicked all this off. But uh, that's probably not true. Okay, lads, can we... Uh... Oh, I'm about to sneeze. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Um, can we roll around this way, please? Because I'd really like to cut those fools off. And they're getting surprisingly close to a port, which I would really like them not to have. If you could just, um, yes, 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 my lord. Okay, if we could just, uh, perhaps attack this a little more, yes. Elections are called. Now is not the time for elections, but, uh, we get the Royal Loyalists, which is one of the best names in the world. Um, so we either get the Royal Loyalists. Oh, fuck, there's so much shit here. That puts a recruitable population down there, but it gives me a fuck ton of power. Okay. The Liberal Party. Or oh, the Youth League? I can get the Youth League? I kind of want to get the Youth League. That sounds great. Good. Um, hang on. What's the Youth League give me? Minus 20 manpower. I'm not going to get the Youth League, actually. Uh, oh, wow. You're really good. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, yeah, the Liberal Party is the best party. Ain't no party like a Liberal Party, holy fuck, hell yeah. Oh, who's our leader now? That confused, oh, it's, it's still the confused old man. <laughs> right. As, as my party just got slightly better. Okay. Cool. Well, that that's nice. Um, can we, uh, can we actually, like I haven't done any of my, uh, Junubian Federation. I guess I could go down that, but we could actually probably go down the army reform and get this, like, minus 15% thing that's really good. So we can build, equip me, uh, Equip me a fitment? Yeah, equip me a fitment. I was going to say, because at the moment, we've already got a minus 3%. Then we're going to have... Hang on, I know. Like, the cost? Is it efficiency? Where, where do you see this? Hmm. I was going to say, because we've got, like, minus 3% for that. Minus 5% from our, uh... Guy. And then we're going to have a minus 15 from our, uh, new focus. Also, can we just take their capital yet, please? I'd really enjoy that. It'd be quite nice. Yeah, look, they're attacking you, that's fine. Oh, fuck, there's actually lads here. Hang on a second. Hang on a bloody moment. Um, right, we need to somehow push you boys back, because you're actually going to push us back to the bloody sea in a moment. Which is going to be no good. Okay, you boys attack him. Oh my god, I, I forgot to give him field hospitals. No, we're going to lose so many men. No! Good shit. Get some more of those. Right, um, I'm tempted to roll our guys back towards the, like, the north and capture some land up there, but I think we want to focus on the capital for now. God, they actually do have a fair bit of manpower, though, but if we can just take Addis Ababa, can we, uh, no, 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 240, too defended. Okay, roll around here. If we can't surround them, we can just surround the capital. Isn't that the way of the world? Let's fucking, uh... Computing machine, we need more research. There we go. <laughs> Researching research so I can research. It kills me. Every time. Okay, hold off. Just, just hold off. Wait for, the, wait for the attack to stop. Please stop fucking attacking us. Good shit. Okay, can we get the, uh... I don't really, really want to get that in just yet. Can we get you in? Yeah, sure. So how's our uh, whole air power going? Good, we've got more air power than them. Cool, let's bump this up to 50. Oh, sweet, we have an ace. We've got, uh, Ace Manu Moose. <laughs> Damn it, Moose. <laughs> You're a f- <laughs> You're a wild card. You're a loose cannon, Moose. The Moose is moo, because I was about to do a mooing noise for a moose, and I'm not entirely sure if they actually moo or not. And now this is, uh, this is information I need to know regarding the mooing status of Moose. Or Meese, perhaps. How often do Meese moo? Do Meese moo? Perhaps Meese do not moo. 
I'm not sure, but we just surrounded three lads, so I'm somewhat, you know, somewhat happy. I'm happy in life. Right, um, let's roll up north. Knock out this port, finally. Lads, let's talk about the, uh, logistics of ports. The rise of the Socialist Muslim Committee. What the fucking shit? Okay, better question. Why the fuck is there a port in the ocean? You seem to, like, like... Okay, you guys aren't doing much better. This port just clearly isn't connected to land. You're gonna have to use another boat. God, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Uh, oh my god, we, we just marched through here. Holy shit, you guys suck at defending your territory, you know that? I mean, I say, having you lent- you, uh, having let them into half of my country, but, uh, it was needed to win the war. Alright, we're moving up. Social Republic of Italy's gone. No! Mussolini! What in the fucking abomination is this? Nice hat, by the way. But, uh, the Caribbean Federation has taken over the entirety of southern Italy. That is the dumbest thing I've seen today. And this has been a pretty ridiculous, uh, fucking playthrough so far. Oh my god, come on. Let's just force their bloody capitulation, would we? Good, we aren't punching through here. Just get two sides on Addis Ababa, and we're good. Is this actually the port one? No, the port province is here. It's kind of hard to tell when it's in the fucking ocean. Anyway. Okay, hold on now. Hold on now. Wait now, Nelly. Hold back now. Okay, there's a lot of greens here. I'm not sure which direction they're actually going. Um, can you guys just finish this fucking war already? Okay, Dominion of India is declared war on the Mysore state. Interesting, interesting. Uh, you know what would be more interesting is if these guys could fucking collapse already. Thank you! Can we please just knock out Addis Ababa in one go? Royal Army. Begin Army reform. Whoa, we get 10,000 manpower out of that. Fuck yeah. Let's do exactly that. Just hold on, lads. We're about to capture Addis Ababa. I'm pretty sure we're going to lose more men than we gain in this war. 36,000 in casualties. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, that's bad. That's really bad. That's terrible. That's fucking horrendous, actually. Jesus Christ. No, but we are attacking the mountains, so, you know. I don't think we lost near on anyone in, uh, in the Amman War, but... Yemen, can you stop being in the uh, middle Europa? I always think it's a bug when I click on them and their flags, the actual German flag. It's weird. Because I expect them to be like, Middle Yemen, not Europa. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fucking god damn it, we were so close. No! Yes! Someone get in that fucking province! Oh, for fuck's sake, not you, you're the enemy! Baharajat come to be at Harajat, declared war on Madras, okay. Wait, Gandhi's going to war, really? Holy fuck! Gandhi's going to war! I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Can we take the fucking nation yet? Oh my god. Please. Please. Oh my god, the Sindiglots are gonna win. That's kind of sad. I wanted to see the fascists win. I mean, the fascists have already won over all oh, the fucking syndicalists are going to win, aren't they? No, they've just sort of stopped the war for a bit. They've called a, a peace. They're just like, all right, lads, we both don't have any guns. Can we just, uh, just hold on for a moment and build some? And then we'll continue murdering each other. All right. Clearly, uh, taking Addis Ababa is not going to work just yet. So we're just going to try our good old surround and pound, which is uh, a favorite tactic of mine. Uh, used heartily against, you know, the Russians, uh, preferably. Uh, whenever they think that they can get away with not manning Moscow. Um, Dominion of India. Pharaoh. Bye bye, Mysore state. Is Portugal still around? Yeah, it is. How do you still exist, Portugal? Weren't you at war with a big major power that just sort of gave up? You fucking prick. Okay. Look, lads, I know it's looking a little bit desperate here, but can we just kill this last guy? Why? Why have you done this? Why, why would you ever do this? Why would you, you're just, okay. All right, you're gonna get defeated, but good job, good luck. I hope, I wish you good fortune. The French Republic, why did you steal part of Italy? It was so nice when the Caribbean Federation owned all of it. It was so lovely back then, before the bad times began. Okay, let's arm local militias because this line is significantly better than this, than, uh, this line. Hell yeah. All right. Can we actually, uh, you know, this whole little surround thing I've been planning on? It'd be really nice if we could succeed. Actually, we could probably just try to take Addis Ababa right now, couldn't we? Yeah, because at least we got the militia when we beat them back for, uh, for someone to actually march in there. Come on. Come on, take it. Take the fucking bait and just die, would ya? 
Ottomans are actually doing pretty well this time around. Uh, I'm not okay with that, because I'm going to go, like, whop them in the face eventually. But my god, will this war fall. Oh, 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 come on, 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 come on! It's so close! Yes! Thank fuck, that took forever. We can liberate Turetia. Let's not fucking do that. Ah, uh, Somalia wins. The expansion begins. And I do actually get a fair bit of manpower. Okay, not too bad. Because I got, uh... Is this a core or is this... No, it's a colony. Shit. Victory over Ethiopia. Now, here's the problem. is They actually have a serious manpower. So... <sighs> do I install a friendly regime in Abyssinia, which I think I probably should, actually, because, like, construction-wise, they're just giving me a little bit more, but... It's that manpower, yo. It's that manpower we need. Let's uh, install a friendly regime in Abyssinia, yeah. Beautiful. What do you look like? Ethiopia! Ah, ah. Don't you the same guy from before? Or are you different? I'm pretty sure the same guy from before. Hi, welcome back. I own you now. <laughs> yeah, so much for cancelling slavery. Uh, slavery? Slavery. Yes. Uh, what, what are you going down? Oh, okay. Oh, th th they're still doing elections and shit. That's kind of fun. I like this. I like this. This is okay. You're a good puppet. I'm going to make you build things for me, and you're not going to like it, but I'm going to make you do this. Um, so... Let's just see which one. Not you. Maybe you. Okay, we're gonna go with you. You're gonna be our new boy. Alright, lads, until next time, I've been Re. This has been Somalia in Kaiserreich. That's actually pretty fun now that we've kicked things off. Let's, uh. Let's turn our eyes, uh, west, shall we say, next time. Till then, farewell.